One among many issues raised is the nomination of candidates for the upcoming regional council and local authority elections. Kenomesho said various constituency and branch leadership were only given three days to nominate candidates, which he said was not sufficient, leaving many grassroots level leadership disillusioned. He says he took to the WhatsApp page of Thomas Regional Leadership of the party, asking for an extension, but the response he received was not what he expected. Um, I heard that on, on the first day, that I have to refrain from uh, uh, political activity. I requested him, kindly requested him, that you must give me a letter, if you know that you are following a rightful procedure, according to the party, Constitution is what we have said. You follow rightful procedures, you must give him a letter. He agreed on the first day. He further claimed that he was labelled an instigator, but now Kenomesho is spilling the beans on the internal workings of the party and the election processes that were followed at the first convention of the party in July. Among others, he alleges that some people were handpicked by Dr. Itula instead of being elected to the positions as per the constitution. Did that never happen in IPC? Dr. Itula he took the names from the pocket and he presented to the Congress on Sunday and they in, in, in informed people to, 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 to adopt those leadership. The IPC constitution among other executive powers, also gives the party's founder and president the right to make certain executive appointments. But Kenomesho admits that he is not familiar with some of these executive powers, saying they were not given ample time to study the constitution before it was adopted. He also questioned the qualifying criteria for party candidates for the November elections. All those without grade 12 or in good standing with inland revenue are not eligible as candidates. This, Kenomesho said, is while Dr. Itula was supported by vendors and small businesses who were allegedly at the receiving end of the municipalities trading by laws. Uh, he forgot already last year when he lagged behind by masses, those not having grade 12. Not having grade 12, some of them even they don't have grade 10. But they're having a quality leadership to be a regional council, to serve the position in a local authority, or to be a lo um, uh, local authority office bearers. IPC's president, Banduleni Itula, was not reachable for comment. However, the party's national general secretary, Christine Alhamus, rubbished Genomesho's claims against Dr. Itula and the party. Alhamus also dismissed as untrue accusations that the party's executive was handpicked by Itula. She too justified the qualifying criteria to stand as councillor, adding that these are but just internal party requirements for vetting. Emil Sebeb, NBC News, Ventuk.